Hi there, I'm Karen Strawn, though some people know me as Girl Writes What. I've been writing and speaking about masculinity and men's issues outside the feminist framework for a couple of years now, and I'm a member of the National Coalition for Men, recipient of their 2012 Award of Excellence for Promoting Gender Fairness in the Media. As all of you will be aware, there is a Women's Resource Centre on pretty much every college and university campus in North America as well as centers or programs devoted to helping minority students with their problems. These centers receive some or all of their funding directly from universities and are reputedly devoted to promoting tolerance, equality, fairness, and a safe learning environment for everyone. When a female college student feels she has been the victim of sexism or harassment, or when she needs assistance in dealing with a problem specific to being a woman, she always has somewhere to go. As for the guys, Universities and colleges in North America have all kinds of programs for you as well to deal with your problems. Institutions of higher education promote, tolerate, participate in, and endorse a multitude of programs and campaigns dealing with men's issues. Posters, ads, and events abound on campuses across North America, raising awareness for men's issues and ensuring a safe, non-hostile, and non-sexist learning environment for all students. Well. For most of them, anyway. Are you all noticing a pattern here? These programs and resources are aimed not at helping men deal with the problems they face, but at helping everyone deal with the problems men are. Where are the programs and resources that help men who are victims of dating violence perpetrated by their girlfriends, who struggle with depression, or are dealing with the suicide of a brother or close male friend, who have suffered sex-based discrimination, who are victims of stalking or harassment, who are survivors of childhood abuse. Instead of offering men support and assistance with any of these issues, mandatory orientation seminars ensure that every male student knows right from the start that human violence has a male face and that every woman on campus lives in justifiable terror of every man she encounters. Male students are told ad nauseum that women feel unwelcome in certain departments and programs because of the chauvinism of male students and professors. And they feed you guys a steady diet of all this, while simultaneously watching men become a steadily shrinking minority on university campuses. And as if that weren't enough, your university has even more institutional structures and processes specifically created to deal with men's problems. The Dear Colleague letter issued in April of 2011 by the Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights has now made it easier than ever for a university to discipline or expel a male student for sexual misconduct by all but reversing the burden of proof and standing due process on its head. As of this May, a blueprint for adjudicating sexual harassment has been developed through the Department of Justice and the Department of Education for use at the University of Montana that so loosely and unconstitutionally de redefines sexual harassment that a single request for a date or classroom discussion of Lolita could be a punishable offense. This blueprint is one they hope will be in place at all colleges and universities in the U.S. soon, despite opposition from civil rights organizations like the Foundation for Individual Rights in Education. Men are now, and have been for decades, a minority in colleges and universities across the U.S. and Canada. And given how hostile the learning environment has become toward men and boys, I think you guys deserve a safe, friendly, and unbiased place to discuss the problems you face as men. Problems like high suicide rates, depression, sexual health, relationship health, sex discrimination, sexual and physical assaults where you and not women are the victims, and a multitude of other problems that can't be addressed and certainly won't be fixed by someone pointing yet another blaming finger at you and telling you that you are the problem. It's time to stand up for your rights, gentlemen. It's time for you to look out for yourselves and for the coming generations of young men who will be right where you are in the future. It's time for you to protect your interests as a minority on campuses and to have your problems addressed outside the framework of a feminist ideology that blames every single problem in the world on men. The National Coalition for Men the oldest North American nonprofit advocacy group dedicated to fighting sexism against men and boys has a program that can help you set up a men's resource center on your campus. 
They'll help you through every step of the process of founding and operating your men's centre and provide you with educational resources to assist you in addressing the social and institutional problems commonly faced by college-aged men. When you're ready to set up your centre, just head to ncfm.org and click on the link.